just need 10 seconds of oxygen remaining. Beautiful day on Subnautica today. Felt like playing a bit. Hello, people. Salut les gens. Welcome. Jeltas here. Hope you guys are doing really good today. So, yeah, last video I made was actually at this very point. So, we're right by the alien gunship, if I may call it that. Because on this run, this is a new run that I started, um, I wanted to focus all my efforts on taking over this. Uh, ship slash base here and building my own base in it and that's what I did uh, I managed to get the Cyclops I mean the Seamoth pretty easily on this run compared to the previous one and I had a harder time finding the Cyclops on this one though or I mean I mean the blueprints and uh, but yeah got all that done didn't build the prawn suit yet love how the lights turn on here <laughs> just for me and the details of this ship is really well made I, it's really appreciated I mean look at all this really well detailed well made um so yeah as I was saying I'm going to we're going to go to the where the coffee machine can be find found um I finally found it and thought I'd you know put a beacon down and start recording to go back there and find it with you guys so yeah um, this is the docking bay, if I may say, and my base. So I'm going to give you guys a little tour of the base. Oh yeah, the singles. I recommend following the singles and see way over there. The Aurora Rendezvous is actually where the other island is. And this thing here, where we are at right now, also has a single. I'll just put it on here so we can see it. Uh, so you can find easily find the islands now. They're they're really all you have to do is get eventually that radios you know call, which the other radio calls will also. Let me just see where the other signal is. The one that's here. Oh yeah, it's right here. So this is the signal for this place here, Energy Pulse Origin. Um, recommend using those radio calls. They'll lead you. They'll bring you to pods, which will help you Perform evolve. Mm, I got a little bug there. I wanted to show you the new the scanning option that, that we have with the uh, latest update. Let me just try to go. Oh, there we go. The animation. Should be good. Yeah, early access, guys. The game's in, de in development. They'll work on it for sure. That's really awesome. I find that really well made. And we now know that we're infected because of the planet, I guess. And the operating room over there... Uh, is now, you know, there's a reason why it rejects you. And, well, it's all coming together, I guess, so that's really cool. Um, so, a little tour of the base. Oh, the exterior. So, it goes... Um, let me just show you. Oops, forgot to jump there. Had to calculate the position that door there. But as you can see, it goes all the way outside where I built the uh, moon pool. Had to, it was a hard time to calculate the, the distance right there, but I, I got it done. So a little tour of the base here. Here we go. This is the cafeteria where I plan on putting the coffee machine. Got everything we need here to survive. I mean, just missing the coffee and then some. This is interesting because I like putting pictures where I found certain things and uh, interesting little undercave base to go to there. Yeah, uh, let's keep on going. This is the, you know, where we craft everything, where we build everything. This is the crafting building operating room, if I may say. We 
recharge the batteries and stuff. I'm gonna need some life for a trip. I think we have enough food. Let me take this. We put it down. No, I'm gonna. I wanted to put some in the Cyclops. That's what I wanted to do. So we have plenty of that. Now lower, we have the new power room. Um, the older one being right under it. So this is the new power room to get the power throughout the base. When I finally found the nuclear blueprint, and this is the old one because I had found this one first. And I decided to keep it. It's a nice little scientific room as well. Oh, this wreckage. Awesome, interesting wreckage. Totally recommend going to it. Uh, and then these rooms are for the future alien aquarium. And this is the bed bedroom area, kind of. For you and a friend. <laughs> Continuing this long underwater tunnel where we pass under the Cyclops. And it leads all the way to the, you know, moon pool, scanning room, operation, or observation room, if I may say. Love the effect. I'm really, it's my favorite base so far. Out of all the bases, I mean, even the one that reaches the sky, I prefer this one. <laughs> this is the observation deck. Little suits, uh, rooms here. And then we get to the scanning room which I didn't use much, but I plan on using way more now that it's built. Uh, look at all it's found around me already, and it can find more depending on where you're moving. It's gonna, you know, detect stuff. It's really well made. There's only one thing I didn't understand yet, is this scanner room HUD thing. It won't go in. Why? Do I have to put it somewhere else? Is it not up to date yet? Did I do something wrong? Because these other two ones, the room, scan room speed and scan range, Room range update and room speed upgrade are clearly different things. And then you got the room HUD. So these go in, but this one doesn't. Maybe it goes somewhere else, maybe in the Cyclops, maybe in the sim maybe in the prawn suit. I don't know. And then it comes with these two cameras here that I haven't tested and I haven't explored all around my base. I know there's a wreckage that I have to go check right lower us, right, right under us. I know there's a bunch of cave entrance and stuff. So I'm going to do that with all the with the cameras and stuff cuz I wanted to check out all that all that out, but that's for another video. Now let's head in the Cyclops and get going to our trip to the coffee machine. Um place. <laughs> So, this is the, actually the entrance. First of all, uh, what did I want to do? I just want to double check that we have everything. I think we've got food, life, storage, energy. Uh, we got pretty much everything. We're, we're all set to go. Let me just put these away to clear a bit of room in my inventory here. Clear the life and water. Oh, it's in the other one. This is the food, life, water, locker, etc. Okay, so this is the entrance. I'm hoping to find another one, but this one will do for this video uh, where you can actually fit the Cyclops, because in this entrance right now, you can only fit the Seamoth. And this is actually the under, uh, underwater, under cave base where, the, where I saw the coffee machine. I then put a, a beacon and said I'd come back while recording to share this with everybody. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's start our engines and go find that coffee machine and hopefully survive the adventure. Let's go. Okay, and we are off. Uh, I think I hit something on the way out there, but that's okay. We'll unflood the base on our way back. <laughs> Nobody, uh, nobody's gonna fear anything in there for now. Um, also, yes, um, I found one of the three blueprints for the Cyclops. I think it was the engine ones um, right here by the island here. If you guys are. Uh, that being said, I find I've played two lives. 
since the uh, precursor update, if I'm not mistaken, and my experience were rather different. Uh, the first time the Seamoth, uh, I had a hard time finding the blueprints, not on this life and last time the cyclops blueprints i found on the other island i found in the aurora and i found by this island uh, this run was completely different well kind of easier i want to say so i don't know if the blueprints are random i don't know if they're constantly changing and updating them but uh, i think there's a bit of randomness to it which you know changes your experience every time your search experience bye bye uh gunship and uh Hello to the new island, here we come. Okay, so here we are, we are really close to the other island, as you can see, and under the island is actually where you can find this coffee machine. Um, so the first beacon will lead us to the entrance, and then the other beacon under under, under cave base. Um, so as you can see, I'm diving down here, uh, under the uh, mountain island, I think it's called. I'm just keeping a lookout also for blueprints because I do want to find the aquarium one as well. Um, I think I f saw an aquarium in the in the um, in the uh, abandoned base that we're going at right now, but I'm not sure. I really I threw a beacon and I took off. My inventory was full. I didn't have the cyclops. I only had the sea moth. I was you know uh, on my way back home more than anything. So just threw the beacon and thought I'd come back and discover it with you guys don't want to hit anything here it's fairly dark okay here we are there's the entrance small one but it's there and I'm sure there's other ones it's just that I didn't bother looking for it but I'm sure you can enter maybe not this first area but the one after that which seems bigger that I'm gonna show you after the coffee machine probably really quickly um, I'm sure you can get in with the Cyclops. It would just be a waste of exploration if you couldn't. Okay, so here's the beacon. Here we are. Let's get in the Cyclops right here. Make sure we have life, food, and water. We're good. Just in, thing, just in case things uh, go wrong. Uh, I'm just going to fill myself up just in case. And we are good to go. Um, yeah, maybe a little save here, just to get things done, and, uh, because I don't plan on redoing all this, so, the trip was long, <laughs> and lonely, I should have stayed with you guys, <laughs> okay, here we go, diving now, uh, there we go, bye-bye Cyclops, close your doors, here we are, okay, so, yeah, we're under the island, we're a bit on the left, a bit further ahead under the island. This is where the Aurora is way over there. Is, whoops. With the uh, life pod over there, as you can see. Aurora rendezvous. So let me go. To, ooh, twisty. Let me go down here and just show you. So the base is over there. And as you can see, the, uh, the pod li life pod is over there. And the Aurora should be on the right. So you basically come this way and then you go back in the other way once you go inside the underwater world here under under cave underwater I haven't explored much so I'm keeping a lookout for blueprints like I said I'm missing a couple of them oh hello spider looking ouch okay watch out Jeltas <laughs> Okay, here we go, let's go. Just being cautious, just checking everything. No blueprints, apparently. I'd be surprised that... I... But I did find most of them. Okay, let's go to the base. The underwater abandoned base. Oh, there's one. There's what I was looking for. I would have found that weird. But I probably have it already. So let's get some titanium here. What is this? Oh, I don't have that. And that's one of the things I was looking for as Welcome well. Awesome. Captain. And you only need two of them. That's great. Okay, so apparently hostile idea. 
a hostile area. Here's the abandoned base. And as you can see, it's uh, surrounded by water. We're gonna go ready. Oh, that's what they do to you. They, they turn off the power of even your scanner. There's my beacon. Okay, let's start scanning as soon as fast as we can. What's this? Really? Awesome. Oh, okay, the reinforced suit. I thought I had that. So we have a new suit to build. I'm pretty sure they don't hurt you much, but they... There you go. I can't scan anymore, as you can see. They do hurt you a little bit, but they mostly trash your Seamoth. Where is it? Where's my Seamoth? Oh my god, there's a lot of... Oh, stop hurting my Seamoth. He's defenseless. You are... <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting so much hostility, seriously. You guys calm down now. Oh, the, it, okay. It does affect them. Boom. Go away. It barely affects them, but it affects them a bit. They are big. Okay, let's try to get... Oh, no more power. And no more power means no more oxygen. So if you come in here... Oh, it's almost trashed as well. Let me fix it right away. If you if you come in here to catch your breath and they they you know they launch one of those beams, well you won't be able to get your breath because no more power. Wow, hostile. Okay, here we. Oh, want to get those? I love those. There we go. Here we are, baby. The coffee machine. Finally, it's like so. I want to say a bit hard to find, but it's also in one of the most hostile spots I've been. Seriously. <laughs> no, there are um, other ones, obviously, with the. Uh, forget their name there. Livia. Oh, okay. We're good. We got the coffee machine. We got. Oof. <laughs> I thought he was going to jump me, but. How's the life doing here? See how much it, it really hurts the Seamoth. I just fixed it. So if you don't watch out, they're gonna... And it's it's mostly uh, what's inside the Seamoth that's more important than the Seamoth itself. Nice! Alien container. I have finally the... Uh, what's it called as well? The uh, aquarium. Alien aquarium. I can now almost finish my base. Great. Okay, so there seems to be more spots in the base where you can go in the upper levels. I gotta go. I gotta go take a look on the Seamoth. Hope they didn't trash it too much. You guys leave them alone. <laughs> Just stay away with your long claws there. Oh, I can't see its energy anymore. I think I have a little visual. Oh, there we go. Oops. Oh, I'm not helping the game by doing that. <laughs> Reacting too quickly, pushing all the buttons. And I can't see it stayed anymore. How do you get in here? How do you get in the upper levels? Is there a broken window or something? I didn't see it. There's clearly stuff in there to get. Go away! No, don't bring him closer to me. There we go. That's all. There. Bye-bye. Say bye to your buddy. Unfortunately, I only have one missile left. I didn't think I could actually die here. <laughs> uh, how do you get in? How do you get in? Oh, here, okay. Have a little entrance here. I hate those, and I hate the fact that you have, might have to take stairs after because you get stuck and stuff, and time is of the essence. This is probably just titanium. I'm surprised you can't... S there we go. Oh, coffee cup. Uh, I want the coffee cup. Some interesting stories to read as soon as we get home. I'm surprised you can't scan that big alien container. Okay. Let's go back in. Hmm, I can't even see his state anymore. I guess he's full life. Okay. Down oh, I hate going down there because you get stuck. Okay, let's go. Okay. Pick up the in import. Oh, look at all this. I can pick all this up. Integrating new oh. data. Another blueprint. Already have it. Let's go back in. I'm scared. Let's go back outside because I'm scared. I'm going to get stuck. Where's the door? Where's the door? Door's on the other side. 
Don't get stuck. Oh, no more power in the Seamoth. That's not good. Oh, wait. Okay, it still does. I thought it didn't, but you still... I'm sure in the future they'll fix that so you don't get oxygen back when you go inside. But apparently you do, even though it doesn't have any more power. Or maybe it was just a coin, uh, timing little problem there or something. I'm going to drop all these because... I don't like I don't care about titanium right now. I just want to pick up what I can. Oh, I didn't have I didn't find that either. That small little boy, that's long for a garbage for a <laughs> that's super long scanning there. <laughs> just for a garbage. We have it. Oh, I got two of those now. Oh, I didn't have that third one. Bunch of uh, decorations here. Oh, what's that? Hmm. Okay, I think we have everything. I mean, I rarely have spots where there was so much stuff to pick up, so that's cool. We're going to go back in one more time. Don't get stuck by the door. Hurry up, get it. <laughs> okay, we're in. Oh, I think I'm going to go back once, just to make sure. He seems okay. I lost his uh, stats bar in the craziness. Get in. Losing precious time here, so it's on the opposite side. I'm starting to understand now. <laughs> Is there anything? I'm surprised I can't scan these big containers. I'm sure that's a future thing. Let me guess for the eggs, those container there. Maybe for the alien eggs. I don't know. But uh, I mean, I've s first. I think it's the first time I see one in a base. These container things here. I'm thinking they're gonna put them to use later on. I mean, there were... 30 seconds. Okay, let's go back. We're done. We got everything. We're good. If we miss something, I'm... And that orange thing. I never saw one of those. I wonder what that's for. So there's more aliens, buildings, and orange doors. Not just the purple ones to open. Okay, we good. We good. We good. We survived. We good. Unfortunately, I have no idea what state my... Uh, Seamoth battery is in, or I'm just, I'm just gonna check this thing. Probably titanium, but I can't even see what this is. Okay. Okay, let's get out of here. So I'm gonna take you to this other entrance I found, which I'm also keeping for for ex you know interesting, awesome Cyclops exploration, maybe for a video. Um, I did go a bit further on just to see, and look at this place. Awesome. Look how big it is. It's huge. This guy's infected as well. Sorry about that. I'm just gonna let stuff rendering. I'm hoping they optimize the rendering. I'm sure. So I'm not gonna go explore anywhere further, but uh, I did earlier just a bit and I noticed alien carcasses, big rooms, and even another alien green locked door. Uh, I can't wait to go explore all this, which I'm going to do next. I might record it uh, if you guys want more. Uh, but it looks really cool here, and I uh, really want to share this with you guys, and especially that green door. I wonder where it leads. Um, yeah, so we're not done with the alien exploring, that's for sure. That's why I enjoy this game as well. Okay, we're going to head back to the Cyclops and head back to the base now that we have the coffee machine. And here we are. We are back to what I presume is our flooded base. Because <laughs> I did hit on the way out. But that's okay. Just got to find that hole there. Deflood the whole thing and we're good. What's good is... I'm still going to try to park this without touching anything, but if I do, it's okay because it's already flooded. <laughs> yeah, I can totally tell the hallway down there is, um, that long corridor is, is flooded there. So, let's park this baby here. I've learned that most of the time you just got to watch the bottom and the top will follow. It's, uh, it's all calculated, people. I mean, this is all calculated stuff. Oops! <laughs> Almost hit there. Those cameras are in the way as well. Oops! Yeah, I could have went lower and I didn't, and I should have, but that's okay. The antennas of the Cyclops kind of go through it, so but it's good, it's good. And then it's even tighter once you get inside here. Um, it has, you know, just barely uh, some five foot space once it's parked. 
upwards. Now, if we're close enough, we should be. All we have to do is rise, and the two doors will pass right between the two doors here. All calculated. Okay, so I'm going to go on flood and be right back. There you have it. And the bonus is the aquarium, really. I wasn't... Uh, I wasn't expect. Well, I did see it, but I, you know, I wasn't sure. Uh, actually, what happened is I found the blueprints around it, but the item that I saw uh, didn't give me anything. So, yeah, coffee machine. Here it is. Simple to build. Coffee cups. Can I get a coffee cup, please? I want a coffee. Put it under. No, just push the button and everything gets done. Okay. Who wants one? <laughs> Coffee's on the house, people. I think it's just gonna maybe your thirst needs, because uh, you don't you don't get fatigue in this game. So I don't know what else it could do, but your thirst needs, thirst needs, you know. Here we go, coffee cup. Only four, really? Plus four, that's it. <laughs> you could have gave a bit more, but that's okay. I guess now you can combo with the chips, with the chips and the coffee machine and the power. You have food forever. <laughs> I hope you guys really enjoyed. Leave me know if you want more. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support and uh, helping me or supporting me or supporting what I do because I love doing it. Thank you for being here, people. See you on the next one. Jelta's out.